everybody this video is mainly for PMs and this talks about the launch checklist so any Magento e-commerce website that we launch we need to uh, do execute some tasks in order to test that we launch it correctly to prepare and to actually launch so I'm gonna go over it so uh, there's three stages uh, the first stage is pre-launch and preparation so what are the things we need to do to prepare for our launch of our new website the second one is what do we do during the launch time and the third one is what do we do after launch how do we verify that everything went smooth so let's go over them a uh, one by one okay so number one is uh, during development of the website during UAT during SIT we actually have testing reports testing the front end the functionality the integrations how to manage the system from a business side we need to obviously fill out the testing reports once everything is okay the client needs to sign off uh, the second thing is obviously we need to teach the client how to use Magento and the system how to manage the system how to manage uh, errors how to manage uh, just uh, exceptions okay third thing is we need to notify our client and our internal team when are we going to launch the website what's going to happen during that day how much downtime is there going to be what's going to happen first thing in the morning what's going to happen in the afternoon etc etc okay uh, third thing is we need to get a list from our client of all of the relevant pages that we have uh, on the site on the old site that we need to redirect 301 permanent redirect from the old most important pages on the old site to the most important pages on the new site we need a list we give that list to server guy and they'll put it on the web server also we need to make sure that we 301 redirect the non ww subdomain to the ww the http to the https and any other thing that's relevant to the project uh, the next one is we need to make sure that the production site has all of its integrations payment shipping erp etc on production so when we do do the switch everything is ready to go we check we're going to check all the settings etc so um, next one is we need to make sure that every single integration erp payment shipping etc etc prior to launch they all have been whitelisted for firewalls right so firewalls on for example a payment gateway we need to sometimes give our IP addresses or our domain name so they can whitelist they'll give us access to access them um, next one is we have to make sure that we have a correct hosting environment so production launch is all about production but we need to make sure we have correct uh, development sites and a staging site and servers to be able to continue our development and our growing flow uh, the next one is we need to have a simple coming soon page we're temporary down page will be back soon and we need to design that page we need to code it we need to put it on the server we need to make sure that the system in Magento files know that when we turn it on when they already have our office IP so when all we have to do is switch it on when we need and then everybody will be able to see all customers will be able to see the coming soon page the maintenance page but our office IPs will actually be able to see the real website and uh, then test it once we do the launch and then once we finish and it's approved then we turn it off and everybody can access the site uh, next one is we need to clean all orders we have on the website if we have past orders completely delete them change the order sequence so if an order for example starts with 111101 we can change that for example to 400001 something like that okay um, anything for data transfer if we need to um, transfer from the old project orders customers products etc we need to develop code for it we need to test it very thoroughly we need to have a, a flow and know what we're gonna do and we're gonna test that that our data transfer when we need to switch is going to be smooth next one is server guy needs to install server monitoring tools Zabbix in this case so we can monitor when the site goes live if the CPU and RAM and uh, hard disk space those are all good and get alerts when the site goes down so the PM and uh, the server guy will always get alerts to see um, you know if there's any kind of issue so we know when the issue happens uh, next one we need to make sure that we have a SSL certificate it's valid for a long time we know when it's going to renew next time and we know how it auto renews okay uh, most of our sites are 
completely HTTPS. There's no HTTP. Most of our sites, not all of them. So please make sure that that works correctly. Uh, any sites that have a CDN, set them up, test them, make sure the CDN has supports HTTPS, SSL. If it supports HTTPS, you make sure you use HTTP2. HTTP2 obviously has to be on our web server configuration and on the CDN. Make full backups of files, database backup, keep them in Google Drive so we have another backup. Make sure the hosting servers have daily backups of everything. Uh, have the server guy check and reinstate all the file and folder permissions. This is a very specific thing for um, security, okay? And you have a link here for server guy. Make sure you follow this security checklist. There's a, a list of a few things you need to follow before you launch. There's confirm the firewall settings, check, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna go over this right now, but there's a very clear list right here. Uh, next one is we need to check the site speed. Is our site fast? Is caching turned on? Have we done all the basic things, the server caching and gzip and HTTP2? Have we compressed the images and every other basic uh, important speed optimization? Have we installed Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager? Have we connected to Search Console? Have we installed any relevant project JavaScripts? Maybe their A-B testing tool or their monitoring, etc. These are the things that happen before launch. Okay, some of these things we need client information before. Maybe we need their Google Analytics account or we need their SSL. So please prepare that before. Next one is during launch. What do we do? The, the first moment we do launch, we enable the maintenance mode we created in the step before. We uh, start testing and testing and testing and testing. Okay, so testing and testing reports. We, we especially the full cycle, full cycle and orders, especially but not always. Test functionality again and again. Um, once we, once everything is good, we're going to turn off the maintenance mode. Once we turn off the maintenance mode, we can go to Magento Security, enable this, the security scanner. Okay, uh, we're going to do our data transfer, obviously during maintenance mode. Um, we're going to complete testing reports. We're going to verify the 301 redirects we input before. We're going to enable, in this case, node ping or circuit or other products, the uptime checker, basically check the website every minute if the website's up, if it's not up, notify relevant people. Um, when relevant, when the site is stable and everything looks good, we're going to enable search engine robots to come to the website to index the site. That's done in two places, a robots.txt file and the robot meta tag setting in Magento. We're going to make sure the sitemap XML is generated all, generating all pages. That's also for the search engines. And just make sure we support the site. The last thing is after we launch and we fix bugs and everything seems stable, we're going to, on a daily basis, check the orders. Just make sure everything seems normal. If they had an old site, we can know how many orders should be every day for the most part. Make sure there's no bugs. Make sure that we check Google Analytics. It's tracking data correctly. There's no inconsistencies or less traffic or other issues. We're going to install in, in relevant uh, cases, not all cases, we're going to install Hotjar so we can see a recording of users. What are users doing on the website? We can view that to make sure that there's no extra bugs or nothing that we didn't spot from our testing. We're going to go to Google Analytics uh, every few days and we're going to look at the 404 pages and those 404 pages, we'll be able to see if we missed anything on our 301 redirects. Are there pages that customers are coming to that have no content, no products, no content? We're going to fix those. We're going to add to our 301 redirect list. We're going to uh, once a week check uh, Google Analytics that the speed of the website is fast because speed is very important. And um, once or twice a week for the first few weeks, we're going to check server logs, make sure there's no uh, errors, integrations are working correctly. The system and exception Magento logs seem okay. If there's any issue, let's fix it, and that's it. So that's that's the idea. So uh, this is the checklist that fits most projects. Some projects might have a few others or a few less, but this is going to be the majority of every single product project. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.